Okay, very well, welcome back. So now we're going to look at probably the most uh, intricate part of what we do on the system on the video player page and that is the ability to leave yourself a note or an event now the reason that you want to do this uh, as a learner is because you basically want to leave an audio note or a reminder for yourself to pop up in the video but as a mentor then what you are doing here is you'll be leaving this and you can allocate it to a student so what happens is i play this and at some point in the hello video, and welcome i press to, to the event and then I'm allowed to leave a different kind of event. Now, so this is a textual, and you can see here that which is like a hint without a pop-up box, a multiple choice question where I can set lots of different answers or one can be given correctly or incorrectly, and a free type question where I leave a space for an answer to be typed. Now, whichever one of these I do, and I'm just gonna pick the last one, what I do is I can actually add some optional media in there. So I can upload an image if I want, I can type the question out here, but uh, what we use most, or what people use most, is instead of like typing things out, they leave a little audio message for themselves. So what they'll do here is they record the audio, they'll start recording, you might at that point need to give permission, and then you start with that, and you say something, and you stop the video first, and then it will tell you that it is processing straight to the servers, and it's gonna be saved up there. And then you can choose to link to an optional video if it's a reminder or to another link, because again, this is used by the mentors to teach. So those two things are useful. And once you save it, what you'll see is a little dot will come up in that place within the video. And there you see we recorded this after three seconds. And so it's there just uh, ready and waiting after a couple of seconds. And so that is there for me when I well, come back to the video. That. And you say something and you... And as you can see, you could be using it as a note for yourself, or if you're a teacher, you can personalize the introduction to a video that way uh, for one of your learners, or if you're a mentor, you can do it for one of your mentees or your charges, uh, and then you can do that, and of course, you can delete them as well. So that is the uh, a way that you find that that's of use, uh, and it's got quite a lot of, of power. Now, you'll see I've made that event, and it's disappeared. So what happens when we do events is it kind of gives you another level of, of power. So I'm gonna make another one here. I'll do another video event. And that, that error came up because I haven't actually started the video. Hello so and welcome again. to... I'll make another audio event. In fact, I'll go a little further into video just to give you a demonstration. And so I'll go a little further in. Oh, I'll add another event. I'm just going to do a multi-choice one. And this time, I'm just going to type in anything here just to show you. So it'll be any of the options, any of the options. And I'm going to say that's the right option. And I'm just going to save that. And it's going to be an element for me. Now, what happens here is if I've got lots of these and I've put, say, four or five little notes for myself, I can switch them on or off. If I switch this off and slide it over to the red, what happens? Apologies. If I switch it over to the red, what happens is that it will skip over this. So it will not stop the video. It will just go straight over. You can so see it's coming to there. Home. And it was at 144. Oh, and there you see it just skipped over it. It doesn't abuse, play it. So you've got abuse. control there in the way that you might want to have it on or off. The other item, obviously now that they're on again, if I come to it again, you'll see that when I've got it in normal mode, it's just, you know, nice and bearable for me on the screen or on my phone, it's accessible. However, oh, if I switch to class mode, what are, then happens is this is to be projected on the board. So again, as a teacher, if you're using this and you come into that space, it's gonna go a little further on because we know where it is, you're gonna see here that this is gonna take up the whole so what the place, the uh, sorry, the whole of the screen. Oh. So there you see the question, or whatever I put, it can take up the whole screen. And this is really, really useful for teachers to be able to interact or set questions within videos that they may have imported from YouTube. And that's what we see the most. Only People okay. importing videos from YouTube about football or about cars, and then putting questions in the middle of the video that are in class mode that take up the whole screen. So that's probably using uh, the video player page to its fullest effect. Not gonna lie to you, not many people use this apart from specifically, it seems, where we're working in some of the maybe more um, challenging instances. A lot of people are using cars and football as a base in, in one of our other products to, to pop questions on, but it is a great personalization tool and a great uh, option for training if you do want to use class mode. Hope that was useful.